First John chapter three is our well, it's our devotional material for today, and and John begins to give us some ways to well, to examine ourselves, to realize if we're true believers or not. He's calling us to live that way, to to have that kind of understanding that I'm a child of God, and he says this is how. Well, this is a way you can know for sure that you're one of God's children. Listen to what he says. He says this. He says, we know that we've passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. He gives some simple, practical exhortations of, Hey, you want to know if you're truly a child of God? Do you love the other people in the faith? Is it just about you? Does it extend? You know, see, God's love passes through us to others, and this is what He's saying: If you don't have that sense of loving others, being kind to others, especially those within the family of God, those who you would call your brothers or sisters, He said, most likely you've not passed from death to life. See, it's one thing to believe intellectually. It's another thing to see God's love impact your heart, and then God impacting other people's lives through His love. He goes on to say something at the very end of the chapter that kind of reiterates this, or kind of magnifies it in a little clearer fashion. Listen to what he says, and this is His commandment, speaking of the Lord, that we should believe on the name of His Son Jesus Christ. I mean, that's the first step. And believe means more than just intellectual assent. It means trusting. It means following. It means making a commitment. So believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and then he adds this again: and love one another as he gave us this commandment. This commandment. So here it is. How do I know if I've passed from death to life? How do I understand if I'm a true child of God? Number one. I believe I've trusted. I've committed to Jesus Christ. And number two, there's a genuine, sincere love for those who are in His family. God's called us to be together. We impact each other in so many ways. A Christian doesn't live in isolation. How do I know if I pass from death to life? I have love for those that God has called into the same family, His family, that I'm a part of. John drives this home here in First John. Chapter Three.